Hi guys, in this video today I'm going to talk about intermittent fasting. Uh, this is a really hot button topic and when I talk to other people about it I seem to get really strong reactions like, oh my god, I can't fast, I can't go six hours without eating. Um, and it makes sense, uh, every commercial out there, we have been conditioned and programmed. I remember my mom would not let me leave the house without having breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, Kevin. And it's not her fault, it's not our fault. And if you think about the, the food industry is a multi-trillion dollar industry. Uh, pharmaceutical industry is even more than that. You're talking in trillions and trillions of dollars. Well, there's billions spent on advertising and they make money when we eat. So then all these studies show that you should eat six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day. Stuff your mouth. Keep on stuffing it. It's good for you. Trust us. No, read this article guys and it's a bit thick of an article and that's why I'm doing the video because there's some really good points in here that I don't want you to miss. And intermittent fasting, what it is, is meaning that you, should, you need to go a minimum of 16 hours without eating anything. Drink as much as you want but no food. And everyone's like 16 hours, oh my goodness. But do the math, if you have supper at 5 o'clock at night to six, so you finish eating at six o'clock at night. Well, six o'clock the next morning is 12 hours. Another four hours are on top of that. 10 o'clock in the morning, you're to 16 hours. By lunchtime, by noon, you're at, at 18 hours. Boom, done. Have supper, skip breakfast. There's your intermittent fasting. And the reason, and if you say you can't do it, bullshit. It's just something, a figment of your imagination. If you want to believe that story, that's cool. I'm just sharing some really cool information because this is really powerful, guys. Uh, when you uh, the biggest thing, there's a lot in this article, but the biggest thing I want to talk about is when you go 16 hours without eating, your body goes into starvation mode. And again, my mother always told me this, don't, don't go let your body go into starvation mode, but it's the best thing we can do on a weekly basis is put our bodies into starvation mode. And why? The main reason why is because it kills off old cells. As soon as it goes, you know, 14 hours, 16 hours, 18 hours, your body needs to conserve energy because we biologically are created to go long periods of time without food. Think back, you know, a thousand years, a couple thousand years, food wasn't like it is today. So it was very typical for, you know, human beings to go a day, two, three days without food until their next catch. So when your body goes that long, it can automatically conserves energy. How it conserves energy, the first thing, what it does, it kills off old underperforming cells. So the, your, your old cells, your shitty cells, the ones that aren't working very good, your body gets rid of because they're just taking up energy. Then the magical part is, and not so magical that after the 16, 18, 20 hours when you eat, the first thing it does is creates brand new cells in that place. So it essentially, you're killing off all the crappy cells in your body and replacing them with brand new ones. If you're constantly eating, this doesn't happen. Uh, beyond that, I'm just looking at my sheet here because there's a lot of great information, but it also uh, helps your brain uh, form more synapses. When you go hungry, your brain, it helps your brain you know, get stronger and better. Uh, it also helps your vital organs with stem cells and help them regentrify themselves and ultimately create, makes your organs stronger. It's great for chronic disease. Uh, so that's probably hitting you with enough information here. I just wanted to let you know that this intermittent fasting, going that 16, 18 hours simply from supper to lunch, skipping breakfast one, two, three times a day or three times a week is going to make a significant difference to your overall health over the long term, guys. If you're looking for ways to lead a healthier life, a better quality of life, intermittent fasting is something very simple and you, it might bug you at first and like the article talks about, you might want to go and instead of having breakfast at seven, start having it at eight, then go have breakfast at nine. Eventually, you're going to stretch yourself out to noon. So a few times a week, you can go that 16, 18 hours. Uh, achieve the intermittent fasting and have and experience all the benefits that it brings to you. Uh, it, again, leave a comment for those that try it. Uh, beneath the article, I'd love to hear how your experiences are. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and we'll talk soon.